Good morning. It's Ariane here, <clears throat> former teacher who is transitioning out of education and seeking to join a creative life um, of artists, join an artist community out there in the world. So if you're an artist or someone who's creative, which like the options are endless, please uh, connect with me. I'd love to connect with you and just kind of, um, yeah, explore new career options for myself. <clears throat> I'm jumping on today for two reasons. One, I have committed to making and posting three videos per week for the next year or so. Um, I want to kind of record my journey um, primarily for myself. It's become a little bit like a, a video um, <clears throat> diary <laughs> for myself. Which is kind of funny because I was remembering this morning that when I was, um, I think in middle school, I would record m myself talking to myself. It's funny. Um, I don't know why. I, I think it's because I have a relative who I was very close to, um, both in age and just kind of personality and temperament, but they lived far away from me. And so I think I recorded tapes to send to her. I don't think I ever sent them, but... They were, of course, so dramatic. I was talking about how I was gonna run away because my parents were very strict and made me go to bed or at early times. I really had a rough life. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so showing up. Um, yeah, I, uh, so far making and posting three videos a week has not been hard. Uh, and I think it's because I'm, I don't know, I'm just very open and feeling very, um, Kind of excited to document the process and just see kind of where things go and um yeah i want to make another video about this thing that i'm about to say next but i was talking with a friend this weekend um about the videos and um i was telling him that i I'm, I'm realizing it like i'm learning a lot just by posting three videos per week so I'll make a video about the things that I'm learning just by doing that. But today is um, to comply with my three videos per week. Today's the first video of this week. Woohoo! And also to share a, something I've come up with that's been also working for me. <clears throat> and that is um, I get lots of ideas all the time, you know whether I'm out and about or sitting at my desk. And um, so what I've started to do so that I don't lose them is to use sticky notes. And every time I have an idea for like, oh, I could do a video on that. I just grab it, grab a sticky note and scribble it down. And then I have like a pile um, of sticky notes that I've started. Ooh, I drop one. They're just sitting on my shelf right now. And actually my next idea is to maybe get a bulletin board and start to kind of organize them. But um, yeah, it's just been a really fun and easy way. If you are someone like me who is trying to build a YouTube channel and obviously like content is a big part of it, right? I mean, um, making the videos look nice and having titles and all of that, I have not gotten to. I'm letting myself kind of enjoy the messy part of just practicing making videos. But um, coming up with ideas for each video, I think, <clears throat> is certainly 90% <laughs> of the battle. So anyway, it's just been um, it's like a very simple thing. But I think what I like about it, besides the fact that I, I, it looks to me like I have lots of options, which is good when you have to do three videos per week. Um, but I think there's a tangible thing about it, too, because... I will grab one. I, I also like that it's, I'm a big fan of post-it notes, by the way. I'm like, I haven't, anyway, I love post-it notes. I use them for everything all the time. So it didn't surprise me that these ended up in my process. But um, what's nice about the post-it is it's very limited in space. So you're just putting the main idea down on here. Um, maybe like me, you just kind of turn the camera on and you start talking you kind of have an idea of what you want to talk about in your head and so this is very useful it's just like the main point um but it's like you know 
not too big that you need to spend so much time with it. Also, um, yeah, like I said, it's very tangible. So I can grab one, decide, all right, this is the one I'm going to do today, and then rip it up. And I don't have to, like, keep it somewhere. I probably should, but for now I'm not. So, yeah, just a short video, five minutes. I'm getting better at getting shorter, which I haven't decided yet if it's good or bad. Because I will say, um, when I look at the analytics, which, of course, are very new because I'm, I'm new, um, you know, the longer the video you're, you're, the longer your video is, the more people watch because it's a longer video. Um, you know, not everyone wants to watch long videos. I don't know. I don't know yet what the algorithm is up to, but, um, <clears throat> yeah. So just kind of fun coming up with a system that's working for me so far. And, um, wanted to share. Maybe it can help you. Uh, how do you plan for your YouTube content um, or other platforms? It's funny, for Instagram, I've actually started using like a grid where I plot out um, my videos a month in advance. Um, but YouTube has felt much more spontaneous, which is interesting. I would have thought the opposite. Um, yeah, I want to make another video about my YouTube experience so far, creating a channel and like what I've been learning from it and what I find interesting. Um, so that's some here, somewhere here on one of my sticky notes to do next. Maybe it'll be the second video this week. Just some thoughts from me. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Happy Monday. And um, yeah, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment be below. Um, are you switching to a new career? Are you using social media as a tool to help you as you make that transition? What's going on with you? Ciao.